because the complexity of the challenges that decision makers are faced with today, that is so big. And if they do not have the available knowledge in front of them when they take decisions, then we are sometimes taking decisions, you know, in this way where available knowledge would have told us no, this is not the smart way to go, this is not going to be the cost efficient way in the in the longer term, things like that. You should have gone there. And somehow the scientific community that in its essence of course works very slow and the political sort of fast community sometimes reacting very very fast it's out of pace it's out of sync and I think there that it's not to blame any of the parties I can just observe that we need the scientific community to be even more uh, alert to communication even more aware of the necessity of communicating all your findings there is this tendency in, in politics today that is very much sort of dominated by short-term thinking, that it's about what I think and what I feel and what I believe. But I mean, some of these challenges, for instance, climate change challenge, that's not about what you feel. It's about what you have to do in order to think for the next generation. And there, science has input that can qualify the, uh, the policy making. Uh, and that's just why I say don't take it for granted that politicians, they will read your latest report or uh, your latest uh, peer-reviewed paper. That's just not how it works. But they should not be afraid, one, of repeating and repeating and repeating the same messages until they are out there. And it should give more merit in academic circles when you actually take the effort to communicate to the broader audiences. It's not an easy thing to do because often you have to make it a bit, the message a bit black-white, but it is necessary for a society that wants to base decisions on knowledge that somebody takes the bother to actually communicate what the academia circles really understand and has found out. So uh, that is just my sort of humble plea. Please try and make, give it more merit to those who are actually communicating their research.